What's up, welcome back. I wanted to talk about one of my favorite tripods, the Manfrotto 290 Dual. It is a photo tripod, and that is just the legs actually, not including the ball head, which is also uh, one of my favorites. It's a Manfrotto um, rapid release ball head, uh, definitely heavy duty, holds up to like 11 pounds. It's a great ball head combined with the legs. It is honestly a killer combo. I would say these legs are more of a heavy duty travel tripod and a light day use tripod. So what I mean is when you're traveling, you definitely don't wanna be lugging a lot of gear. You wanna be taking like the lightest weight tripod possible. That way it's not as much weight on your back or however you're carrying it. This will definitely give you stability. It's made out of aluminum, not carbon fiber, so it is a tad bit heavy for travel, but also still not terrible. If you have a heavier camera setup and you're traveling, I would recommend this tripod. It's just gonna be a little bit of extra weight compared to a lightweight carbon fiber travel tripod. Like all Manfrotto tripods, I love the clasp lever mechanism for expanding and retracting the legs and locking it in place. Uh, that is Manfrotto's classic system and I love it. I find this system much more reliable and quicker than the twist lock on other tripods. That's just not my style, personal preference. Whatever works for you, works for you. Like I said, this Manfrotto ball head has a rapid release system on it, which is very convenient for just popping your camera on and off, clicking it back in and adjusting. What I love about this tripod is a feature that I actually don't use very often, but when I do need to use it, it comes in handy very, very well. So this center column raises and lowers, which that I use all the time, without a doubt. I definitely use that. What this tripod does in particular is, if you raise it up all the way, there's a button you can press and it pivots 90 degrees. So let me just tighten this down, readjust my camera. Now I have a boom arm that comes out of the tripod. And this is especially useful if you're doing something like macro photography or if it's just a tricky angle. So because this tripod is a medium duty tripod, it's not too heavy, it's not too light, it obeys the laws of physics. And if you extend this boom arm out, you have your weight here, but the center base here. Now I'm able to pivot the neck of the tripod wherever I want. So if I have it here in line with a leg of the tripod and let it go, we're okay. If I pivot it, not even 90 degrees. <gasps> oh no, my camera. You have all this weight over here, but there's no leg of support right here. The tripod will fall over on its own. A solution to this is to just simply push it back more towards the center of gravity, the tripod, the base, uh, the closer the camera is to the center of the base, the less likely it is to fall over. But what if you need to have it out here to get the shot? What can you do? So let's tighten this down and it will fall on its own, not good. What we can do is get a small sandbag, and I love these sandbags. This is made by Matthews, and it's five pounds, and it has the ability to be draped over the tripod. So if we hook the sandbag to this hook on the tripod, it actually solidifies the base more, makes it uh, much more heavier and sturdier. That way the camera isn't the heaviest object on the tripod, it's actually the tripod itself, the center base because of this five pound sandbag, therefore letting the tripod not fall over, your camera does not get broken, and you can get your images and not have to pay for a new camera, which is always great. And here's a little pro tip, if you are doing macro photography and your camera is extended out on this tripod like this, even with the sandbag, it's still, it's still a little shaky. I would get a cable release or set your camera to a two second delay. That way you can press the button, let it go, let all the shakes work itself out in that two second window, and then it takes the photo. So that way you don't have uh, you know, your drag shutter and your image is a little blurry just because that slight little camera shake. If you have a cable release, you don't really need to worry about that because you are not physically touching the camera while you activate the shutter. So. It works out. There's your pro tip if you are doing macro photography.
Although, honestly, if you're doing any macro photography, you should probably be using a cable release or a two second delay timer because you're so close and you don't want to shake and yeah. So always use that if you're doing macro photography. But back to the tripod, uh, when you're done with this setup, make sure you support the camera while you loosen this, bring it back, take off the sandbag, and actually I have to bring it out, press the button in, make sure everything is nice and secure, tighten that, readjust the camera so that sits perfectly level. And there you have it. This is the quick review of the Manfrotto 290 Dual um, medium duty, heavy duty travel, light duty, everyday use tripod, in my opinion. Um, this kind of goes with me wherever I go, and it definitely is used for all sorts of filming uh, around the studio. So if you guys enjoyed this tech review, please consider subscribing and checking out my channel to see more tech reviews on camera, gear, and more. See you guys next time.